There's nothing like Cancer Research UK in the States and there's nothing like the Centre for Drug Development. The nearest uh, organisation we could compare ourselves to is the NCI, um, but the crucial difference there is the NCI is entirely government funded, whereas we are entirely funded by donations from the public. So the Centre for Drug Development, we're in a really unique position here because we've no shareholders, we have no profit motive, we're part of a charity. And what that means is that we can make decisions and we can undertake projects where our motive is just purely related to patient benefit. We are essentially a research organisation within the charity um, and we were built to work on programmes in drug development and cancer drug development that other people aren't doing for one reason or another. So if you're a biotech company, your shareholders um, absolutely focused on you know critical milestones that you will give them and we know of examples where a biotech company will rush into a phase one um, probably even knowing at that point that they're not quite ready but because they've promised the investors they're going to go at a certain point they're going to phase one and that's a very commercially driven um, decision we're free of those commercial imperatives, free of those commercial pressures. So what that means is we can really think very, very carefully and get the science right, get, for instance, the biomarkers right before we go near a patient. And that means ultimately we do a better program of research. We can work on agents where there is no prospect of an immediate return and profit. It means we can work on treatments where the science is so new and so fresh that there is a huge commercial risk in investing in it because we don't know whether it's going to work, but we can do that. There's currently an enormous amount of resource being spent on immunotherapies, but uh, some of the trials are very long term, uh, take a very long time to read out. It can be very difficult to plan these uh, trials and they'll require collaboration between academics and industry to, to make sure that uh, you get them right. So we have a uh, particular scheme that we work with with industry that's called the Clinical Development Partnerships uh, Scheme that aims to release the untapped potential in drug development. And the aim of the scheme is really to uh, try and develop drugs that are delayed in their development uh, for either market or strategic reasons. The way the model works is that we will take on the development uh, uh, of these drugs ourselves and we'll able, we're able to fund both preclinical and early clinical development of these drugs. And typically what the pharma partner wants is a well-designed trial that's going to give them enough information at the end of the study to be able to carry on clinical development, uh, which you know, we think that we do that very, very well. So this unit is the manufacturing facility for our Centre for Drug Development. We develop and manufacture novel biotherapeutic products to GMP, to good manufacturing practice for early phase clinical trials. So having this facility puts us in the unique position to be able to manufacture the drugs that we want to take into clinical trials. It would be very expensive to outsource this at, uh, for complex manufacturing programs and uh, for us it's a great benefit to have that under our own roof, under our own control. We can schedule the manufacturing campaigns the way we need them and be independent of commercial manufacturing organizations. Manufacturing of biologics therapies is often complex, expensive and it takes a long time to develop the manufacturing processes. So we face the challenge of making manufacturing process more effective, cheaper in the long run, to reduce the cost of goods for these potential new therapies when they reach the market. We have a really mixed portfolio. Um, it's derived from collaborations with academia and also collaborations with pharma companies and biotech companies. Uh, we have imaging agents, we have small molecules, we have biological therapies, we have cell therapies, we have viral therapies, we have a whole range of therapeutic modalities and that's one of the most exciting things about working here. We can work on anything and everything as long as the science is good.